Hello, welcome to Infoverse Tech. This is a channel where we explore uh, new trends in technology and we cover uh, a number of areas like machine learning, artificial intelligence, big data, Python programming. And, and today we're going to look at um, clean text, which is a Python uh, library. And um, as per the definition, um, it's an open source Python package to clean raw text data files and uh, the project is available here let me just um, put it here this is a really useful tool to help us clean up some files then then that can be if you consider that as a pipeline they can be then input to less in an NLP system which uh, doesn't need a file with uh, those extra spaces or numbers or punctuation marks and so on uh, so I just put up the definition there we you can check up check out the uh, the website there so let's go to the next one so if you don't have it already uh, you should install clean text uh, like I said it's a Python library and you can then uh, actually run it but uh, since I have already installed it I'm going to uh, skip that but I do need to import clean text so uh, I'm going to run that so that runs it's imported now uh, I, I also have some sample text and um, they include um, a text with uh, a number of extra spaces um, maybe a text with all capital letters uh, then there is a text with which is like jumbled there are characters including numbers punctuation marks and so on so we're going to see how we can use uh, clean text and use some of the cleaning operations to clean up that um, uh, raw text that's provided to us so let me get started and first show you the syntax and then we can work through some examples and I, I promise this is going to be a very short tutorial I just want to cover the basics and uh, to get you interested in seeing how you can use uh, this library to clean up uh, a text file and then make it or prepare it for you know further up the pipeline let's say like I said um, maybe for an ELT uh, solution or NLP or or whatever the use case is so as you can see here the syntax is very simple uh, you have clean text dot clean and in you open the brackets and under in the quotes you have that raw text um, and then it's uh, followed by a cleaning operation which is set to true so uh, we're going to look at numbers punctuation lowercase spaces etc so once you set that to true uh, clean text will remove those um, uh, from from the uh, text so let me uh, start with an example and which will make it very easy to understand the concept and the syntax of this uh, very easy to use command so let me start with a very simple one so you can see here it is a, a text with all capital letters and our objective is to reduce it to lowercase so as you can see uh, I have the uh, raw text between these quotes and then I'm following it up with the cleaning operation which is a lowercase in this so you set that to true so let's try and run that and let's see what happens so you see, you see that the text was converted into all lowercase now let's take another example again I'm, I'm going through the simpler ones and then we move into a little more complicated ones in this example we have a text with uh, many extra spaces you know some programming languages even even don't um, like that the extra space as an example Python is a good example where extra spaces can actually uh, cause the program to not run or your code not to run so in this uh, example uh, we're using the same syntax so clean text or clean uh, in between the uh, in between these uh, quotes you have your raw text and then your the cleaning operation in this case is extra underscore spaces and you set that to true so let's run that and see how 
this library handles it. So you can see that it's cleaned up fairly well. All those extra spaces, uh, white spaces, as they're also called, they're all removed and the text is, uh, you know, pretty well cleaned up. Let's take another example. So in this example, we're going to remove some uh, numbers from this uh, text. So there could be a use case where uh, all you need is to have just alphabets, no numbers at all in that text. So here's an example. Uh, now this particular sample text includes numbers, some punctuation marks, some extra spaces and so on. But uh, what we are just going to focus on is using the cleaning operation called numbers. So let's do that and see what the result is. So here you see, you can see that uh, all those numbers have been removed and all you're left with is text. Again, this is not fully cleaned up because it's, you can still see some punctuation marks and there are some uh, extra white spaces there as well. Let's see how we can actually clean that up. And I can perhaps introduce a further uh, addition to the syntax where you can have multiple cleaning operations. So let's take a look at that. Let me just show, show the syntax here so it will be clear. So you can see here that uh, previously we've been using cleaning operation equals sets to true, but we can actually use all of those, right? So here I put a comma and I can use cleaning operation two, set to true, uh, cleaning operation three and so on. So depending on your use case, you can use multiple cleaning operations as well. So I can go to the next one here and let's start with an example. So I think what we can do is we can actually combine. Uh, so I could have used just punctuation on, on this one, but what we are going to do is repeat the same sample text as you can see that we removed the numbers earlier, but here we're going to remove the numbers as well as the punctuation. So let's run that and see how that turns out. So great. You, you can see that it removed those uh, numbers as well as the punctuation marks and you're left with a fairly uh, better looking text, right? And how we achieved that was by combining two, uh, two of those clean operations. Excellent. Okay, let's, let's move on to uh, another um, uh, cleaning operation or requirement, which is called uh, stop words. So stop words are commonly used words like the, uh, an, in, etc. And these can be uh, removed from the text without uh, affecting uh, the uh, the quality or um, you know the the meaning of that um, that text as needed in let's say an NLP system. So let me bring up the example here, and again, very simply, the cleaning operation is called stop words. Let's take a look at that. So the text is the same. You have this uh, uh, long bit of text and at the end you have the cleaning operation stop words set to true. So let's run that. And you can see that it removed the is a uh, to and is. So all of those were removed from this text and it's now fairly usable uh, further down the pipeline uh, for NLP system or something similar. So again, very sim uh, simple syntax uh, and you can remove uh, stop words from any text. Now let's look at a slightly more um, complex example in the sense that we will remove, we will use some um, uh, stemming. So stemming uh, as by per definition is a process to reduce words to their root. So um, as an example, uh, let me just put the definition here and we can just go over it together. So it's, it's very clear. So stemming is the process to reduce words to their root. So as an example, words like liked, likely, liking, all will reduce to like, which is their root. So again, this helps an NLP system um, in, in that uh, pipeline to be able to process and understand human speech uh, better with, with less ambiguity. 
So let's uh, go with an example and things will be uh, much clearer. Okay, let me bring an example here. So in this example, uh, we have a text and uh, you know I just made it up. So syntax remains the same. Uh, it says much ado about nothing is a famous play by William Shakespeare. It's currently playing. So note these and note this. This will actually be the root. So playing at a local theater where it has played for the last 10 years. The characters are playful and interesting. And uh, very simply, the cleaning operation is stemming set to true. So let's run that and see how that turns out. So just focus on the uh, the play, which is the root here. So play, uh, the playing was reduced to play, played was reduced to play, and playful was also reduced to play. So again, a very simple syntax, and you're able to use the stemming algorithm to reduce words to their uh, root forms. Excellent. Now let's come to a couple of more examples which just enhances um, um, the clean text uh, library by the ability to um, list out words from a text. So you're just sort of interested in listing out all the words that are in that um, sample text. Let's show that by an example. So here the syntax is that clean text dot clean and all I'm doing is we're just adding underscore words. So when we run this, it will just ext extract all the words that it can uh, understand from that sample text. So let's run that. And you can see that the algorithm was able to read out sample, text, clean. And we can see that it, uh, perhaps because of this punctuation mark here, that it just uh, was able to read up to sample without the proper spelling, but again, these are three words that I was able to extract. Let's look at a, uh, another example where uh, the text is longer, so perhaps we can uh, break it down and get a better result. So let me just, so here it's uh, some longer text and we're going to use the same syntax. So it's, once this runs, it's going to extract all the, uh, all the words from this text. Now I just want to um, mention that you can see that although this text had punctuation marks, spaces, numbers, uh, you, you got very clean just words. So make a note here. So remember when we said earlier on that we could use multiple um, cleaning operations, but there's also a shortcut. So you can just say all equal to true. So when you say all, it will include numbers, punctuation marks, stemming, stop words, all the cleaning operations that we looked at in this tutorial. It will take all of those into account and you are left with very clean uh, text with just the, the words coming out. So let's run it on, on this. Again, you can see that I've set it all, to, all set to true. So that means when it analyzes this uh, sample text, it's just going to um, you know, throw out the words or extract the word from this text. So let's run that. Let's take a quick look. So great, you know, it's all cleaned up and it's able to pick out individual words from this uh, sample text. So that was it. As promised, a very short tutorial. Um, the, the, and the objective is to get you interested and um, do you know, experiment, explore this further. There are other libraries which are, you know, uh, can do uh, more complicated uh, manipulation and extraction of, um, of any text that's presented. But um, just as an introduction, clean text is, I, I found it extremely easy to work with, extremely easy to understand, and um, you can, you know, use it against any uh, text that you can find. And you'll be pleased with the results. So do uh, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure that you subscribe and um, stay tuned for more videos that come your way. Thank you.